It's time for a change today. We're going to change out the collet chuck for a face plate. Something I've never used before. But never mind, I need to drill a very, very small hole. Well, first things first, let's get this off. It's been on a good while. Keep that. Chuck board, very handy. Should always have that. Oh, this is a bit worn, this is it's a bit hit and miss. There we go. Yeah, I've not this off for a while. If you could find one of these on eBay, I definitely recommend it. They're well, very expensive. There we go. Right, I'll give that a clean out and give the nose spindle nose a clean. Lovely, and he's ready for the first plate. Holy cow, this is the heaviest thing ever. Oh my gosh. That's oh, a good job. Right. What I think all I need to do is clean them off. I've just picked it off the floor. So bear with me a minute. Right, I've got all the crap off the threads. I think that's the technical term. It's a little bit dirty for me, this. I think it's worth jet washing and cleaning up in another video and checking for true. Because I don't know the light. I think it's had a hard life. It come from a proper machine shop in Birmingham. Anyway, let's put it on. I've had one of them on the lathe before, so the first time I've ever used it. So it should be interesting. There we go. I think I will just check it for two actually, just out of interest. You never know, do you? You never know. All in all, it's not too bad. I think it will benefit from a clean up and a look of resurfacing. But it's alright for what I want today. It's definitely out of place over the rest of my tools because it's very dirty and rusty. So I think we need to restore that at some stage. It is probably has had a hard life. Maybe 50 years of being dropped and banged and generally not looked after. These are the sort of things that you stub your toe on all the time. And I probably stubbed my toe on it a few times. <laughs> it's lived on my floor for at least five years. I've never used it. So anyway, that's near enough. Let's get on with the job. Off camera, I've completed a few stages to save time. Like mounting a piece of round wood. Well, roundish to me. <laughs> to the first plate, as you can see, with bolts. Not some bolts. A good sturdy job. Because the part I need to fix and drill to the lid is very, very small indeed, as you can see. And it's a bit of an awkward shape as well to mount. So, my idea is with the aid of a clamp and some hot glue, that's right, like a glue chuck you get on a, on a wood lathe, I'm going to hot glue and clamp it in place. And obviously, a good surface for hot glue to stick to is wood. So, I'm now going to get on with that. I'm going to set it up and we're going to have a go at drilling a very, very small part on the big lathe. As you can see, I've loosely mounted the piece I need to drill in the toolmaker's clamp. I've left it loose because it still needs a little bit of locating with the aid of the little drill bit. And it's just a simple matter now of bolting the whole thing together and lining it up. And when it is lined up, I'm going to add some hot glue to help to hold it in place. So let's get on with it. I'm now very happy with the setup. 
and the pieces are perfectly in line ready to be drilled with a bigger drill bit all we need to do now is give it a good caning with the, <laughs> with the glue gun and hopefully it'll load it in place there we go looks like Spider-Man's been there so we'll let that set and see what happens quick check to see nothing's catching anything seems fine I'm probably going to run this at low RPM maybe 250 RPM nothing faster I don't want the layers to take off <laughs> Oh well, unfortunately you couldn't see the piece getting drilled, it's that small. Well now disassemble and show you the finished item. I think that was quite successful for me. Here's the finished workpiece and the Spider-Man goo did a handsome job. <laughs> Ideal if you're drilling the awkward workpiece. As you can see the difference in diameters, that was original and that's what I drilled it out to. Probably a sixteenth bigger, but it's going to make all the difference. This is a regulator on a steam engine I'm building and there wasn't enough steam getting through. I've now got one more to do so I might actually make the shortened version. We'll see. So thanks for viewing. I hope that was of interest of you. Please subscribe for some more videos. Thank you and goodbye. God that's over with. <laughs>